I'm here in Ackland Road in North Kensington to check on the progress of our 32 new flats. And as you can see, 20 of them are for social rent, so that's over 60%. And I don't know if you can see here, but the beautiful brickwork is something we're very proud of, and that mirrors what is the brickwork on Almanar Mosque and Cultural Centre opposite. So within the flats, we have four which are fully wheelchair accessible, and not just are they, are they nice and spacious for wheelchairs, but they also have a kitchen countertop that can go up and down, which is really important. As with all of our new homes, we make a real emphasis on keeping them as green as possible with air sourced heat pumps and thermally efficient doors and windows. So as well as the 32 new flats here, we've got quite a large community space and that's going to be divided amongst the Swinbrook Estate, which is just right here next to it, for their residence association room, and then also a community area for the Almanar Mosque. And I think the plans are right now to have a nursery in there, which is going to be really wonderful. I've been on this project for about a year and a half now. I got involved as we started the piling and ground level and all the way through to getting it ready for handover. Um, it's an unusual project because it's in a, a very tight logistically challenging space. We've got the Almanar community centre on, on one side and we've got the Swinbrook estate on the other side. So we've had to really take into consideration construction methodologies in, in ensuring that we don't disrupt neighbours and, and take in uh, our neighbours from the local community as a kind of first thought of how we build. In terms of the, the, the end product that we're delivering, it's very, very high quality for social rented housing. It's unusual to have apartments with uh, en-suites for social rented housing and some really nice winter garden areas that have an enclosed space that has a, kind of an, a, an extended balcony to the apartment for, for residents to use. So it's like an indoor-outdoor terrace. And so on a rubbish day like today, you can keep them firm, firmly shut. Or when it's a lovely day, you can open them all out and there's more windows outside as well. And so as well as these winter gardens, we've got a communal resident outdoor area and there's going to be planting and seating and all residents can access it. 